how can sustainable reintegration be fostered at the structural level? Reintegration assistance at the structural level works towards creating the political, institutional, economic and social conditions for sustainable reintegration programming. It does so by strengthening local, national and international systems of governance and service provision that are necessary to the delivery of the assistance itself. But how can this be done in practice? Structural interventions require engagement of key stakeholders, strengthening of stakeholder capacities, creation or strengthening of coordination mechanisms, and inclusion of reintegration considerations into policies and strategies. Let's look at these key features together one by one. 1. Stakeholder engagement across different sectors and levels. Achieving sustainable reintegration requires a holistic approach and needs multiple stakeholders to make it happen. These stakeholders can be local and national authorities, international and non-governmental organisations, as well as private sector, media and academia, among others. Each of them has their own specific role to play. Local authorities, for instance, are important because they are the link between different local and national actors. They can influence what local policies to prioritise and connect reintegration support to existing local development plans, services and resources. On the other hand, the private sector, media and academia are able to support efforts to raise awareness on needs and resources, and they can act as advocates for improved economic and social infrastructures. 2. Capacity Strengthening Activities Strategically, engaging reintegration stakeholders and developing their capacities improves effectiveness of activities and promotes the continuity of reintegration interventions beyond program implementation. Capacity development can be done through many different activities, often undertaken in partnership with national and local authorities and organisations. These may include building and strengthening structures, processes, coordination and referral mechanisms. Helping national institutions analyse indicators for monitoring reintegration and integrating them into wider frameworks. Training and mentoring government agencies, service providers and partners to provide services to beneficiaries, as well as improving coordination among them. Providing funds or in-kind support for equipment, infrastructure or additional staff to support service provision or coordination. Helping governments develop or strengthen their ability to analyse return and reintegration within the wider migration and development context. And support authorities to collaborate with the civil society and the private sector. 3. Creation or strengthening of coordination mechanisms. Effective coordination mechanisms are crucial to synchronise the activities of government actors and service providers who support sustainable reintegration programming. Coordination mechanisms can be international, national or local and can take various forms such as thematic working groups referral mechanisms or project steering committees. This to ensure that all actors involved are working towards a common goal. For this to happen, it is important that stakeholders agree on their respective roles and responsibilities so that their work can become more effective and impactful. Some tools that can be developed to support this process are standard operating procedures, joint instructions or joint protocols. Four, inclusion of reintegration into policies and strategies. Supporting sustainable reintegration requires a whole of government approach and should be reflected throughout national and local laws, policies and programmes. Ideally, reintegration should be a component of a national mainstreaming process on migration, 
This can be achieved through the revision and upgrade of policy frameworks or through the development of new reintegration-friendly policies. The inclusion of reintegration consideration in any case should happen not only through migration and development strategies, but also in other sectoral policies that could be relevant for the national governance of return and reintegration. This includes, for example, labour, environment, health, education and many others. Reintegration assistance, in sum, can only be effectively provided when all the mentioned conditions are adequate for sustainable reintegration. To know more, consult the IOM Reintegration Handbook.